My name is Anna Zeller and I'm a registered dietitian with the Be Well team with Eastern Highlands Health District and I'm really excited today because I'll be demonstrating how to make a caramel almond dip that's great for this time of year. It's fall, it's getting a little cooler out, apples are fresh, so this is an awesome thing to try. Family will love it, kids love it, so let's get into what's in it and I will also be posting the recipe for you. So this uh, recipe only uses um, six ingredients and the base of the recipe is dates. And everything in this recipe you can find at any major grocery store. Now you'll notice that um, the dates are soaking in a little bit of water in this um, small example here, but when you use your cup of dates, you'll wanna soak it for about two to three hours to really soften them up. You're also gonna use some fresh lemon juice, some vanilla, um, some almond butter, some coconut oil, which is a great source of healthy fat, a little bit of sea salt, and some almond milk. And once you have all your ingredients out and you blend them up, it turns into this nice, creamy um, dip. It's a little bit thinner in consistency than an almond or a peanut butter, but it's great for dipping things. It's kind of an alternative almost for a caramel sauce. So, like I mentioned, this recipe is awesome because it only has six ingredients. You're not going to find any kind of um, high fructose corn syrup, processed sugars, no artificial sweeteners or um, artificial flavorings or colorings, all things we want to stay away from um, to keep our bodies healthy. The other great thing is that we can just use a blender or a food processor. Don't have to cook it. Um, super simple and you can make a big batch of it and keep it in the fridge for a few days. And it's just so healthy and nutritious. The dates provide our body with a lot of um, fiber and we have healthy fat that keeps us feeling full for a while. Really can help keep the blood sugar uh, levels steady over time. Um, add a little bit of protein with it, maybe an egg or a mozzarella cheese stick if you do have blood sugar issues because the dates are a concentrated source of sweetness but really good na um, natural sweetness. So there's so many things you can do with this dip. Um, you can dip fruit in it, you can do carrots and make it almost like a little carrot cake bite. You can spread it onto a piece of whole grain bread here for a breakfast or for your kids breakfast. Maybe have like an egg on the side or a little bit of plain Greek yogurt for some protein. You could even mix it into the yogurt, put it with bananas. So there's so many options and it's definitely worth trying, you know, any time of day. Great for breakfast, snack, a little dessert. But I really hope you take advantage of this great recipe for fall with all the great produce we have available. And again, I'm going to post this recipe for you. So let us know how you like it and be well.